expert, please report to room A9. Hi guys, Exo here, and welcome to bar charts. Here's what the module will look like. There will be four bars, four labels on the bottom, and a label on the side, like a bar chart. And our aim is to figure out which order to press the bars in. So let's just get started. So, take notice of the bar's size order, or as well as the largest, their colours and their labels. All four labels are part of a single category which might have to be determined. So let's find what that category is. So, we have Google, Amazon, YouTube, and Instagram, which is major websites. And we're now going to come up down to here. Each category has a list of labels. We just play the its value is its position in the category list. So the first in the category would have 1, 5th would be 5, and so on. So we make a value A, which is the sum of these values. So we have Google, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the list. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. And 2. We're going to add them together. Let's subtract the length of the list we were using. So in this case, briefly only if we need to to get it below the length of the list. So five plus seven plus three plus two is seventeen. Minus ten is seven. And then we do it until it's is less than the length of the list, and then adding 1, so we have 8. If the label in position A, the number we just calculated, is being A, if the label in position A of the list appears in, if it's on the module, it's by comes first in the order, let's check. We actually had this note down before. So we have 8, which was not one of the calculated values we had for originally. So what do we do here? Otherwise, subtract 4 from A until it's less than 4. So, subtracting 4 from A, we get 4. And again, we get 0. And add 1, 1. The 8th shortest bar comes from the order. So the first shortest bar comes from the first in the order. So it's going to be Google. And we know it's got it right if it lets us click it. Now the second one, we're going to be assigning new values to the bars based on their colour. They all have different colours, so the order of the values here is going to be green, which is 2, blue, which is 3, yellow, which is 1, and red, which is 0. And then we're going to be finding B, which is the sum of the values of the leftmost bar, the leftmost bar being 2, the shortest bar, 2 again, and the first bar in the order, two again. <laughs> in this case, the leftmost bar, the shortest bar, and the first bar in the order were all the same bar. So we have six. Subtract three until it's less than three. Three, zero. Add one. The first bar, as we've got, from left to right, skimming over the first bar in the order, is second bar in the order, which is going to be Amazon. And then we're going to use the label on the side to decide the last one in the order. So in this case, the unit on the left is popularity, it's not, it's frequency. So if the unit on the left is frequency, the tallest is the third and the shortest is the fourth. And we get self module. Let's do that again. This one, I think I saw which one this one was. Four letter countries. So now let's find their position in the list. So we have Omar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Togo, which is the first one. Mali, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And Cuba, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Add these together. We get twenty three. Twenty three minus eleven. Is 12, still not less than 11. 
So we'll do it again. We get one. Add one, we get two. If the label position A, which is two, we got Peru, Peru is not on there. So we're going to instead subtract four, four until A is less than four. It already is. Add one, three. And the third shortest bar comes right in the order. The third shortest bar is Marley. And that was a correct first press. So now reassigning the values, we have 0, 3, 2, 1, 2 this time. And the sum of the leftmost, 0. Shortest, which is, if you can see, cube up by just a little bit. So that's going to be 2. And first bar in the order, which is 1. Yellow, 1. So we get 3. Subtract 3 until it's less than 3, 0. Add 1, 1. The first bar from left to right is the next one. And then the label on the left is frequency again, so we're going to be pressing the tallest and the shortest. Oh yeah, that was that module. In the case of Populator, it's just the opposite. The shortest is for third, the tallest is for fourth. And these categories can be anything from Isolangs to vanilla modules to cast of BFDI. <laughs> but for quite simple modules, just make sure you remember to reassign the values for B and remember. To add one, that's the classic thing that gets put on. But hopefully, the module bar charts makes a bit more sense now. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.